Hello and welcome to my first YouTube video. Welcome to the channel as well. My name is Sam and I want to start uploading more content uh, to YouTube. Personally, full time, uh, I work as a lighting manufacturer, designer slash salesman, um, something completely unrelated to this. But in my spare time, I've always been a gamer. Um, I've been, you know, gaming ever since the Xbox original. Well, well, say you can go back to the Sega, I guess. I've had a Sega as a kid. Had every console since the the Mega Drive, the Nintendo sixty four, most of the handhelds. Um, PlayStation one when I was younger. PlayStation two. Then I went to Xbox. Um, got my first sort of online experience with Xbox Live when Halo two released. Uh, that was fun. And I think I've just been into gaming ever since. I've always played first-person shooters on console, but recently I decided to make the change over to mouse and keyboard on PC. I would been playing a lot of Modern Warfare, and because of you know the global pandemic that's currently going on, um, my full-time job uh, they've reduced my hours because it's just not been enough work going on. So that means I've had more time you know at home isolating and and playing games and one thing that i really wanted to do was just get good at using mouse and keyboard on the pc for fps's for first person shooters because in the past i've had a gaming pc but i've really only ever used it for mmos um mobas that kind of thing strategy games i've never really been able to effectively use a mouse and keyboard for first person shooters and be quick and responsive with it i've always just plugged my xbox controller in or just defaulted to my actual xbox console to play those kind of games so what i want to do in this video is just go through a few things which really helped me sort of become much better with the mouse and keyboard specifically on call of duty modern warfare i've been playing a lot of warzone so stick with it i'm going to go through a few tips and tricks, some things I wish I knew when I started out. Hopefully you guys find it useful. Um, feel free to like, subscribe to the channel. That would be great so you can see notifications when I'm uploading new videos. And yeah, leave a comment if you want as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously get a mouse. Now I'd recommend a gaming mouse specifically. Um... I use a wireless mouse. I would recommend using a wireless mouse because the cable can be a little bit irritating. Uh, if you haven't got a wireless mouse, you don't want to invest the extra money, get a mouse bungee. Um, and the second thing you're going to want to do is have a large area to use your mouse. Personally, I'd recommend getting a large mouse mat because it just makes things a whole lot easier. Typically, you're going to be, you know, using a, a lower sensitivity, and I'll go a little bit more detail about sensitivity and, and those kind of things. But because you're using a lower sensitivity to get your aim as accurate as you possibly can, you're going to have a, a large area to move your mouse. Now, before we go into detail on DPI and, and, and sensitivity, there's one thing you should all do um, on your Windows PC if you're playing on Windows. Well, of course you're playing on windows it's a, you're a gamer you know we don't play on Macs, do we but um the one thing you're going to want to do is go to your mouse settings on windows uh, so just go to your search bar and type in mouse hit enter click on additional mouse options on the right and go to pointer options and at the top you'll have a little section that has motion so on the motion section by default on most Windows PCs, it should be set to six. Make sure it's set at six. If you haven't changed it, it's fine, it'll be six, but make sure that it's set at six because this will also affect how DPI works and how your in-game sensitivity works. Once that's set at six, great. Make sure you uncheck the enhanced pointer precision. By default, I believe it's checked. Make sure it's unchecked. Basically, this is some sort of post-processing which your system does to move to smooth out mouse movements. When you're gaming, you don't want any of that because it creates input lag. So when you're clicking a button to fire, let's say left click to fire your gun, there's a little bit of a lag between you pressing the button and the system recognize that you press the button to the action. Make sure that's unchecked. 
and you're good to go. So DPI, what is DPI? DPI stands for dots per inch. Basically, it's a term used to uh, measure usually how high quality an image is, but it's also used used. It's also used to measure how sensitive a mouse is. And gaming mice um, are usually, you know, up to twenty thousand DPI or sixteen thousand DPI and all that kind of stuff. So my mouse is a Razer Viper Ultimate. Again. Don't have to buy a razor one. You could buy any mouse you want as long as it's got a high quality sensor in it. Um, Logitech do a decent one. I think it's called the Logitech G Pro. I know Rockat do some quite you know decent wireless mouse or mice. But I use a razor ones. I've used them for years, and I think the software is pretty good. But every gaming mouse will have software which allows you to set the DPI of the mouse. Um, on mine, I just download Razer Synapse. I click that. And I go to my mouse section and it comes up with my sensitivity. Now I've set mine to a DPI of 450, which is relatively low. And this will govern how sensitive my mouse is across Windows and every program that I open. It's going to be moving at this speed with, you know, response to how much my arm moves on the mat. Basically... This is your base mouse sensitivity, but you've also got your in-game sensitivity as well. Now, most professionals and people who are good at games, especially for first-person shooters, will play on a true DPI setting of between 3,000 to 4,000. But your DPI true setting, they call it eDPI, is actually your DPI, as you can see on my screen here, times your in-game sensitivity my in-game sensitivity for modern war zone modern war zone modern warfare is 7.5 so if you times 450 by 7.5 my true dpi is 3375 so it's well within that range and i feel it's a good base point for you to start so i'd recommend if you're using a mouse, check the DPI setting. Chances are, by default, they're usually set to around 1,200, 800 on most mouse, sometimes 1,600. Just make sure you pull it right down. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but believe me, it becomes useful when you're in-game. So I'm going to show you some in-game footage now and, and, and show you how my mouse reacts to the movements. So if you're a Modern Warfare player like me... Um, First thing you're going to want to do in game is obviously adjust your sensitivity. Do that by going to your keyboard and mouse settings. Um, I've got mine set to 7.5. On advanced, I leave all of the multipliers at 1, so that when I'm aiming down sights or whatever sort of system I'm using in game, it does not adjust my sensitivity and give it a multiplier, i.e. make it quicker or faster when I'm aiming down sights or slower. I like to keep it all even so that whatever I'm using, it's just the same. My muscle memory adapts to it. Uh, my ADS mouse sensitivity setting is set to relative. Again, multiplier is set to 1. And if you're playing on a 1080 monitor like myself, set your monitor distance coefficient to 1.78. You're going to want to disable invert mouse look. Mouse look. Keep your mouse acceleration to 0. Mouse filtering to zero, mouse smoothing to zero. Now, one thing you'll notice is that you're going to want to use more of your arm to aim rather than your wrist. Something I've been sort of uh, designed to do, or like I've learned to do over the years, is I've only been using my wrist to aim because I've been using you know a much higher DPI for World of Warcraft, League of Legends, all that kind of stuff. To get my mouse from one side of the screen to the other, it's just been a quick flick. And that's great in games that don't require massive accuracy in the mouse, but first-person shooters do. So because the DPI is a lot lower, for me to do a full turn, I've got to sweep my mouse across the screen. And this is what you're going to have to try and get used to. It's not just using wrist flicks, 
to aim, it's also sweeping your arm across the desk and being able to do that. Now, if you're struggling to find the sensitivity that's right for you, obviously everyone has a different desk space. Um, I have quite a large desk, a large mouse mat, so I use a lower sensitivity to get more accuracy with my gun. For, to find out the right sensitivity for you and your, your play space, get your mouse, put it on the furthest left point of your mat or the space you're using to scroll your mouse. And do a 180 turn by the time you reach the furthest right point of your mat where it's comfortable. You don't want to be able to do any more than a 180 degree turn in a game on your mouse mat. This keeps the sensitivity nice and controllable when you're tracking a target from left to right. And snappy enough, if you need to make a quick decision, you can do that. So to round it off, I'm going to talk a little bit about keyboards. The keyboard is perhaps the hardest part moving away from a controller to the mouse and keyboard on PC. The aim, while it is difficult on a mouse at first, it's quite easy to learn and pick up and get more accurate. Keyboard, however, is something that your left hand just isn't used to because on a controller, if you think about it, you're mainly using your thumb for the left analog stick for movement and your index finger or middle finger, depending on how you hold a controller, to hit one of two keys, your trigger or your bumper keys. On a keyboard, it's now hitting, you're using nearly, in fact, all four fingers and your thumb because you're hitting WASD for your movement. You're hitting control, left shift, caps lock. You're hitting E, F. G, C, X, Alt, any key. Like you're hitting a lot of keys compared to what you would do on a controller. And what I found when I was playing Modern Warfare um, for the first time on a piece on a on a mouse and keyboard was as soon as I got under pressure in a fight, my aiming was fine. But then I'd forget how to crouch because I was just panicking. Um, my movement wasn't as fluid because I kept thinking about what my buttons were doing. And that's perhaps the longest. Um, sort of altercation you need to make in your head is learning the muscle memory again on keyboard. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes a while. Now, something you can do to make it a little bit easier for you is you can buy a keypad. I use a Razer Artaris V2. And the reason I rave about keypads, and this one in particular, is because... One, the form factor is much smaller than a keyboard. You're getting a lot more extra space on your desk to move your mouse. Two, the keys are linear. So as you can see on the video on the left, the, the keys are much more in line. So the rows are easier to hit, in my opinion, than they are on a standard keyboard as they're off-centered um, each row. And if you think about your thumb on a standard keyboard, it's only ever going to be hitting the space bar, typically. On a keypad, you've then got access to an extra five keybinds, four directions, and a button. So I would recommend going for a keypad. Um, again, you know, I, by no stretch am I sponsored by Razer. I mean, I don't even think I have a single subscriber just yet, but that'll change. The... Keypad I use, like I said, is the Razer Tataris V2. Um, I can customize it in this setting here and map it to any key that I want. If I just click a key here, I can change that to any keyboard function on my standard keyboard, into macros, all that kind of stuff. So the highly versatile, I'd recommend it for beginners especially because I think the, the standard keyboard, while you know I could learn it, it wasn't too difficult, it took a lot longer. Um, this just seems to be a much better solution in my opinion, having those extra keybinds. Especially when your mouse typically, if you're using a good FPS mouse, will only come with two extra buttons. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful. I do apologize for the poor, poor editing. It's my first time using Adobe Premiere. Really not got a clue what I'm doing. 
Um, so yeah, the production quality isn't fantastic right now, but I'm only going to get better. The footage was filmed on a Logitech C920, so it's you know again not fantastic quality, but you get the picture. Um, and I think I filmed some of the keyboard footage on my mobile phone, so um, I do apologize for that. But again, hope you found the video helpful. Please uh, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, I do stream on Twitch as well, uh, mainly Modern Warfare. Sometimes I do a bit of Valorant. Um, the link is in the description below. I'll also put it in text on the screen here. And thank you for watching.